Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm your host, Jennifer Gianni, and today we're talking about the pelvic floor by way of the upper inner thigh and the hamstring and the feeling of weight in our sits bones when we sit down. It's very, very telling when we sit. Um, a lot of us are very as asymmetrical. Um, we usually have, if we're paying attention, more weight on one sitting bone than we have on the other. And usually, like feet, we have one sitting bone in front or in back in just a habitual way. So when I'm not thinking about my pelvis, I have more weight on my left sits bone, and my right sitting bone is a little bit behind me. If I am not conscious of that, and I go through life habitually sitting in this position, that is, to a very great amount, affecting the, the balance and how I can use my pelvic floor. And it's not gonna be a good situation, especially as I get older, and into menopause more and more, and my fascial tissue becomes less and less responsive and less hydrated if I keep this position. It's gonna affect how I support my pelvic organs. It's gonna affect um, sexual activity. It's gonna affect how my sacrum and my lower back feel. And it's, all go it's also gonna affect how my leg moves in my hip socket. So these are really, really important details. Now, the obturatus internus muscle that you kind of see here behind the obturator foramen in, the, in this pelvis, it goes from the leg bone and wraps around to the inside of the pelvis. And our deep pelvic floor, our levator ani, hangs off the fascia of this obturator internus muscle. So this is a very, very important. And, and today, we're, we're talking really about the balance between the obturator internus um, and our pelvic floor muscles. So to begin, I'd like you to sit well and just kind of notice which side you have more weight on. And then I want you to put more weight into the sitting bone that you feel that you have less weight into. So that is going to be my right sits bone. So I'm coming over to my right, taking the weight off the left, and really grounding into that right sits bone. And then without putting much tension into my leg or my foot, I'm lifting my right heel. Now here, keeping the weight in my right sits bone, I'm going to push into the floor. And I want to push into the floor with like the third ball of my foot, right? Connected to my third toe, that third ball of my foot. And then I want to feel that I, that starts to activate kind of the top of my hamstring. And then can I keep that activation? Can I keep that reach through my sits bone as I set my heel down, keep the weight in that sits bone, and then allow my left sitting bone to drop down towards the stool. Then I'll let myself settle. I'll let myself go back a little bit, dropping my tail. Ooh, and there's the weight in my right sits bone. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject, or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time, and never stop learning.